Hello YouTubers. Now I'm gonna show you the OLED development board from Denye. It's this little board here that I have filmed many times. And as you can see it says Bonavir Laboratory but uh, they actually changed their name to Denye. Which is based based on the three founders names. This is a small adapter board that I have made so that it will be easily uh, fitable to my AVR board here which uses a HEmega 16 MCU which is now right now working a little bit uses a timer and stuff like that as you can see there is a minimal amount of cables here that's because we use the SPI interface of the display so let's see if I will be able to do this by one hand yeah seems to be okay. great it's perfect and now for the tricky part fit it in here All we need to do now is to reset the CPU no, to send instruction, instructions for the startup sequence to the OLED. There we go. So this is a small demo program that is written to AVR to show uh, the performance of the included uh, library for the OLED development board. As you can see, we are having steady 35 FPS and uh, 166 62 kilobytes per second. Uh, it's a K here because it's in Swedish. And here it just takes uh, the color color code from the very uh, the counter here in the very elbow here. I don't know if you can see it if I go closer. Uh, come on, out to focus. Yeah, you can see that it changes color, and I can see that there is some flickering on the camcorder, but this is not in real life. It's just because of the update frequency of the OLED display and the frequency of the camcorder. It doesn't have to be this thick, but it uh, it's just to show that you can use your SPI on the AVR to drive the OLED screen here. And then you just need three wires, actually. That's kind of neat. Three wires from your MCU. And as you can see here, it's it updates the uh, bar every second. Yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, it about this development board with the AVR library routine. There are some other routines in the library also but this is uh, this is just for show to prove that it works.